Yes Show, episode number 297. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everybody. How's your New Year been? My New Year's been okay. Nothing too fancy, but still, it's fun. It was fun. How about yours, man? i just been staying at home most of the time, doing, doing nothing. Woo! That's fun. Yep. What can we say? We're not New Year people. We don't go out and party, I guess. Nah, it's just more like the, you know, the typical same old story. They say that, oh, like 2017 is like... The That's not a word! ...year and then after that, 2018 is gonna be a good one. And I, something tells me that 2018 is not gonna be a good year, as usual. We'll see. We got season 8 coming. Yeah, there's that. But other than that, what else? Um, Equestria Girls, we got that coming. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, at least we got a new game coming out. So What's that? Monster Hunter World. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter World is coming out, yeah. Yeah, not a big fan of it. I okay. played it. Didn't really like it that much. Yeah, well, I do play the game. I can't wait for the release. Though it's still quite a long way to go, though. Uh, when is coming out? 26th of January. <laughs> It's just, what, 20 days away? It's not that long. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you and your impatience. But anyway, let's get on <laughs> to Pony News. So, first up, Taipei gets a pony display and play center. If you guys didn't know, the Taipei Expo Park is running a pony play center thing from the 22nd of December to the 4th of March. And... If you're a grown brony boy or gal, no, sorry, you ain't gonna come in and play. But if you're a kid, yo, you're most welcome to. And from what I can see here, it's generally meant for kids. They have the standees, they have, you know, your generic play place with the cube of um, sponge, sponge cubes, something like that. And a mini train thing, so yeah. It's more like for kids stuff, so it's nothing special. Oh, I, I see they have the Apple Acre sandbox. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, and then they have the Sugar Cube Corner Pit of Sponge. <laughs> pit of Sponge? I, I thought it's the ball pit. What, is it? No, just... I think it's just ball pit. I, it, I can see it from here. Yeah, I think it's ball pit. It's ball pit. Yeah, okay, then... uh, it's uh, Klausdale has the um sponge thing then, yeah. Yeah, to mimic clouds. Though, yeah. I just wish it was really clouds. That would be awesome. Yeah. And uh, Cantalot has the train. So, yeah. Uh, this was yeah. not meant for us, man. Like, this is just for the kids. Yeah. But at least they have it. And that's fun. Why they don't do an MLP theme park? Or... I don't know. Probably it's too expensive. Uh, uh, yep. But... If you're the type of brony who doesn't want to show their brony love outdoors, there's something indoors because there's a pony bedroom set for about 160 pounds. So yay, not a big fan. For what? You mean the bed? Yes, the bedroom set thingy. Like I'm looking at it right now on the website and it's beyond beds, like it's a whole bedroom. That's quite a nice bed with all those removable storage and whatnot. Well, you, I think you can just put some um, plushies under the bed. I don't know, man. Like, this, this looks fun, right? <laughs> uh, I don't think a grown man would want this, man. Like, there's much better things out there. But still, this is fun. This well, is... maybe. <laughs> some people may get interested in it. I, True, but there's much better, man. But still, but still, if you're a kid and you like ponies, this looks good. This looks good. Yep. And one thing's for sure, there's Applejack and Fluttershy, so that's always good. Yeah, but still, talking about Applejack and Fluttershy, uh, you still, have you started playing the Tales of Equestria RPG? No, most of the time just collectible, because I was hoping that we could find a group of people to play, but apparently we are a bit terrible in RPG. <laughs> yeah, none of us knows really how to play. <laughs> if I remember yep. right, Doc doesn't really know how to RPG. Nope. He's not a big fan of it from the looks of it. Yep. The only reason why I brought it up is because it seems that the stats for the main six are out there. And that's cool. And I'm looking here like... uh, Well, here's the thing. Like, if you want to create your character and you've got no idea, you can always copy one of the main six. 
Yep, that I can agree. Well, like actually, they in... made five. You can't copy Twilight because Twilight is an alicorn. No, but I think you can copy your stats. Depends. Well, well, not the stats. I think, yeah, it depends. It depends. It depends. Because I think uh, Princess of Friendship, Elecon Power, uh, that is her... Oh, yeah, that's her bo- bonus uh, ability because some of the characters here, they only have talents and quirks. Uh, Twilight yep. here has only... Like, she has three. Uh, her talents, quirk, and Princess of Friendship, Elecon Power. And her quirk is being bossy. <laughs> it's so Twilight. <laughs> that's what I can say. Yeah. And there's a lot more. Like, there's Spike. There's, ooh, the other two princesses. And there's also Derpy. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, what's Derpy? Derpy's quirk is clumsy. I think those are appear in the... No, I thought it was in the books, but... It wasn't in the books that we have, the original copy. I think it's the... What you call it? In the... Um, the expansion. Yeah, I, I'm not sure which expansion this one is. I was just flipping through it, and the base, the base game, it doesn't have the stats for the. It only has the stats for uh, stats for the main six, but it doesn't have the stats for the princesses. Mm, I'm not sure which this one is, but hey, at least you can game on if you want to. So that's cool. And well, talking about games, do you play the card games? I used to. Oh. Now no. What do you play then? Or what did you play? I played Netrunner. Ooh. That sounds fun. It was quite interesting, in the concept of it. But it's by the people who make uh, Magic the Gathering. Ooh, Wizards of the Coast. That is always fun. Yeah, but it's really hard, though. It's it's a bit of an advanced game. Every card game is an advanced game. But anywho, if you still do play the card games, what you need to get yourself, my friend, is a playmat. And what better way to pimp out your playmat with ponies? Yes, pony playmats, they're available at the Enterplay store. Yes. So, since the movie was kind of last year, uh, Enterplay has the team of the uh, movie playmats. And I think we mentioned this a few times before with the stained glass painting and the really nice painting of the main six SPC ponies and also the promotional poster or the 3D look around. Remember that one? Yep, I remember that. Yep, so now they're in playmat form. So one playmat is about $20 but if you buy all three, you can get it for $50 including three exclusive cards. Mm. So that'll be fun, yo. I really want this. Like I do love collecting the playmats if I can get them. They look really nice, especially it's a movie poster. I mean they use the movie poster but they change it into a playmat. Which is like lasts for a very long time, that kind of thing, or I could be wrong. The playmats they do last a very long time if you know how to keep them and take care of them. I, yep. I do have one, uh that's the male mare pony uh, the derpy one so that's fun but let's say if you're not a big fan of ponies i wonder why you're listening to this show or you're a fan of other things like video games they also have the super mario uh, playmats the zelda playmats and so on i do highly recommend checking them out just to see what you can gather because the male mare pony? That's a good one. That's a really nice one. And the movie set one, that's a must buy if you're a really fan. Like I, I want to get one but it's not it's not happening anytime soon. But soon enough, soon enough. So that's for fifty dollars and yeah. Apparently I not I noticed that the playmat is also partly sponsored by Ultra Pro for the looks of it. Uh, yes. is it? Yeah, from the main the pictures of the one with the Twilight in the Throne Room, I could see at the bottom left it says Enter Play, and then there's Ultra Pro. Ah, no. Which is the one who do the uh, cut sleeves. No, no, no. Okay, uh, Ultra Pro is a company that does collectible um, items. They're into the collectible market. They do cut sleeves, they do uh, 
playmats. They also do tubes to keep your playmats in and etc. And this one here, and you see there's Hasbro Interplay and Ultra Pro. Um, this item here is in conjunction with Ultra Pro because the My Little Pony card game is exclusive to enter play and the playmat itself is done by Ultra Pro. So the playmat is only available via enter play and all rights reserved to Hasbro. Ah, so that's how it is. It should be that way. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also a card fight Vanguard playmat that was done by Ultra Pro and exclusively sold by Bushiro and so on, blah, 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 blah. They're not sponsored or they're just partnering together doing stuff. Ah, okay. It's just like the same with those uh, when they last did those, what you call it, their cut box and the sleeves. Because apparently I checked on the website, they also do sell it on the website, the Ultra Pro website. Really? Yep. Ultra Pro has it? Yes, uh, yep, Ultra Pro has it. Oh. They sell it separately for uh, individually for the cost of 24 US dollars. For the playmats or the card sleeves? Playmat. Ah, really? No. That's a bit expensive. Huh. The more you know. But still, uh, but still, it's one of those things. But it also comes with the playmat tube. So I'm not sure if the website that we saw just uh, Enterplay provides it or not. I don't think so. Uh, they do ship. So I wonder how is their shipping list? Like, like what are they promising? Playmat featuring the stunning image from the artworks, uh, durable design, deck, uses the keypad and mouse. Seriously, using it for keypad and mouse? That's a bit too much. But it will have a very nice texture to move the mouse, especially those who have gaming mouse. I'm so they... tempted to buy this one now. I'm so close. <laughs> but which one would you buy? All would three. you buy from the... Oh, three. Nice. All three of the $50 offer in the cart. Uh, but, oh man, like... Oh. oh, the sad thing about Ultra Pro website, apparently you can't buy it from their website. You have to find the distributor for it. <laughs> Sheesh. There's a thing... So maybe, so, so maybe Enterplay, they provide with the tube. But we could just contact with Enterplay and ask them about how they ship their playmats. That way we at least would have a much more safer guarantee that it won't be damaged during shipping. Probably. But by the way, where did you look at this? Like, are you looking at the uh, an Ultra Pro website for their... Uh, what you call this? Did you just type in My Little Pony? I Yeah, I actually just went to Ultra Pro website because I was quite curious after I saw that it was shown on the bottom left of the... Uh, Playmat. So okay. after I go to the website, I just type My Little Pony and then I just go to the second page where they just show the playmats. Okay, okay. I'm I'm seeing it here too. And yeah, most of these are MSRP. Uh, MSRP is usually for recommendation of the market price. Market mm -hmm. seller, retail price, something like that. So that's the recommended apparently, price. Uh, the, the... Uh, yeah, they, they don't stock it apparently. So it means that they let it to what you call it probably they let it to enter play sell it yeah because i checked on the their buy now button apparently it's available in amazon us mm. hmm. there's a princess luna playmat let's see amazon mm, i wonder if i can use easy buy to buy this thing sadly it's a no god thing even though it says ultra pro international actually this item ships uh. to my location Hmm. Okay, it does it. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. <laughs> no, no, stop, stop. Ah. <laughs> but anywho, that's the news for this week. Ah, so before I go bankrupt, what have we been doing with our week? Star, please tell me. My week has been more towards... Uh, no changes, actually, since uh, last week. <laughs> Discussion. Well, most of the time, we, I just been uh, hanging, hanging around, just do a chat. I recently did a bit of a what you call it, a meetup with some of the with uh, some friends. Oh, you're talking about the furries, right? Yep, I met 
I met up with two furries, and then one of them was a brony. So, yeah, it was just talk over lunch. So, oh, so it was it quite interesting. A, it wasn't a huge meetup then. No, it was just basically a three person meetup. Well, it's still a meetup anyway, better than nothing. Though we, I did say that one day we may go to the other side, cross border, just to meet up with the the Miri bronies. That would be interesting. Ah, that'll be fun. It'll be fun. I mean, sorry, Miri furries or something. We we will see how it goes because it's a bit difficult here and there. I can understand. It's one of those situations where meetups are kind of hard, especially during the start of the year where everything is kind of busy. Yep, I agree. And as for me, uh, what's been you with my week? Oh, uh, in all honesty, nothing particularly interesting nor new. But I have been building my PC. Yes, finally got the cash and time to build my PC slowly. So right now, I just need to install the power supply and do a few rearranging and stuff to make it look good. And the machine will be done. Next up to bed will be the installation of the drivers and softwares. And who knows, probably by next week, I'll be recording on a new machine. So that's been my week. Um, a lot of troubles with the PC, really. It's fun and all, but oh my god, was it so much work. Still, it was gratifying work to build your own machine. But still, but still. Star, you built your own PC, right? Yep. I, I built mine. How was that? I mean, I... Mine was more towards I asked my friend, well, I was building alongside with my friend so they could help me in the sense that when they, there's a bit of a problem, they could like help out a bit. And um, though in the end, they were the one who helped me build most of the component. I just help. <laughs> <laughs> you help pay for it then? <coughs> nah, they just help out only. Alrighty then. <clears throat> well, as for my machine, it's... Not that mm, I, the casing I bought was not that big. Like I, I'm, I think I should get a bigger box. But you know what? That's for later time, later date. Maybe I can sell off my machine to my uh, sister when she moves to a new house. Probably. <laughs> uh, it's up new, to you, man. Yeah, build new one. It's up to you. <laughs> build new one, then I can play all the Overwatch and the PDs. <laughs> But uh, who knows, maybe, maybe I'll get a new machine to do streaming so we can do this podcast live on Twitch and whatnot. Yeah. With all the derps and no editing. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what the people want to hear, man. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, all right, dude. But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. And Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my Twitter and my DeviantArt, AngelicorXX. So, where I post stuff? <laughs> stuff! <laughs> All right, <laughs> then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe to our latest endeavor, the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, talk about the My Little Pony episodes, comics, movies, and other random stuff that we feel like talking about. And if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and also coffee.com. If you have any support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted contents. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I like to thank Lurker Cat, Lemtrakatoria, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, and also Mark. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You've been really awesome. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya! Goodbye, everybody!